It's more like it. Yeah. I saw them play this 30 years ago. Albany, New York. So we're going to fly back 30 years in five minutes. And our first landing point is 2004, 10 years ago. Plate Boundary Observatory was born, but maybe you don't know that also the UNR Magnet Network was born at the same time. And it's now reached uh, 400 stations shown in red here. Here's a station at the Carson Sink. Our first UNAVCO Inc. annual meeting was held in Colorado Springs, if, you, if some of you might remember. 2002, I was the chairman of the board, the first one, and Jim Davis was the president. And here you can see Megan Miller, that's my note there, sl sneaking in a talk on silent earthquakes. So my co-conspirators in incorporating UNAVCO were Roland Bergman, Bill Holt, Megan Miller, Paul Siegel, Ken Hudnut, and Wayne Thatcher. I think um, almost all of us are here today. What was I doing back then? I managed to dig out my old uh, lab notes, and I was trying to figure out load it, the theory of loading and frames. And I remember the aha moment when I realized that geocenter motion is not a simple translation of the Earth's surface. So I want to thank this guy, Jim Zumberg. He deserves a medal for inventing precise point positioning in 1997, because that really saved me, at least from the data explosion. And uh, here he is visiting me in England, where I was working at the time. I'm sitting here with uh, Yehuda Bach at an IGS uh, uh, workshop, and we're plotting um, the uh, global uh, GPS data explosion. And we've got some very complicated ideas on how we might achieve that. And that's before Jim came around with PPP. Uh, this is a picture of uh, me, um, uh, my first uh, year back in England at the University of uh, Newcastle, installing a new IGS site at Morpeth. This is a turbo rug uh, receiver there. Um, two years earlier, I was installing IGS sites with uh, Tom Clark of Goddard. And the inscriptions on these stations say, Blewett and Clark, Space Geodetic Pioneers. <laughs> I have no idea how that happened, but I think I might know how it happened. Um, 1982 marked the end of the fiducial concept. We no longer had to sort of tie ourselves to VLBI with every survey, thanks to papers like this that showed that global geodesy uh, with GPS really works. There's Charlie Dunn and, and Larry Young, for those of you who know them. Um, it turned out that the mobile VLBI program, NASA's mobile VLBI program, ended in 1991, in part because results like this started coming out in 1990 with GPS, showing the first uh, crustal motions. Uh, my wife uh, calls me the earthquake police. This was back in 1989. We responded to Loma Prieta. That was with Megan Miller and Steve Fisher. Uh, also, Ken Hudnett was uh, with us. Um, and in 1994, the Northridge earthquake hit, and I was flying back home to England that very day. Um, here I am with a TI-4100 surveying Mammoth. Um, and I remember the snowmobile crashed. I got battery acid over my pants, so holy pants. Um, this is an agenda from the weekly gypsy group meetings I was chairing. And it turned out on this day in August 1986 was Jeff Freimuller's last day. Um, Christine Larson reminds me that he kept coming back. <laughs> my very first job was at JPL in 1985. And my first assignment was to do field work with Ruth Nealon, who's pictured here in case you don't know what she looks like. And that, that is our GPS receiver right there. It's a truck. So my PhD was in particle physics, which sounds like it's quite different than uh, GPS. But actually, I was doing event point positioning using nanosecond timing in a detector. So it's what I would call particle physics geodesy. It really prepared me well, I think. Come on. <laughs> So can geodesy help us understand the universe? Um, let's uh, flash forward to um, 2014. I find myself now working with the physics department at UNR, hunting for topological dark matter as it leaves its uh, fingerprints, its imprint in the GPS clock phases. So I would say um, this is certainly a different uh, geodesy today. So forget your textbook definitions of geodesy. 
We're the ones defining geodesy today. So I say to all the young people here, go out and redefine geodesy. Thank you. <laughs>